and welcome to part number four of episode six of Minecraft Story Mode. If you didn't see the last episode, I'm not gonna explain anything. Let's get straight into it. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. And um, scare us? I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Jesse! He was good stamping. He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I, don't know. I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Dun, dun, dun. And he sat right here. Mm, no, he didn't. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one. one? Oh. I'll see if I can find all of them. <laughs> nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the white pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so we far. We can interrogate them. We can connect the evidence. This is we need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. I want to interrogate them. I want to see who could, who could be the who could be the white pumpkin and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. <gasps> Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, us? what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm no taking cares, charge Stampy. now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one. So I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. This is scary. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Uh, Dan. Dan. <laughs> Let's go, purple hair Dan. How much you want to bet that he's going to turn hair with you? He's always gonna be like brown again. Yeah. Damn, it's hair change. I want. I want to change that. <laughs> it's gray! What? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. Oh, no, no. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint is still everyone's talking about. I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. I found it. Deep in the and temple. And everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Every wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. Okay. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? How's your redstone, Dan? Pretty sure no know how his redstone about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? What? Nuh-uh. But you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tri block champion. Tri block champion? Yeah, for three years running. So it looks like eh, Stampy's the redstone one. And then Lily Lizzie's the potion one, and then Dan theme changed the flint and steel one. Oh, with gosh. It. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Mm. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Bye, Dan. We never know. I may accuse you. Uh, who's up next?
to bring me Lizzie. Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Bring Lizzie. Bring me the Lizzie. All right, LD Shadow Lizzie. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. Sit I don't down. People have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Wow, would you kill someone for it? Ooh, who has to think? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this one <gasps> pumpkin fella though. She had to think. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get I'm on with my day. Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie is my number one suspect. The wet pumpkin isn't me. Lizzie's my number one suspect so far. Uh. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tribot champion. So I've heard. Awesome. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that. <sighs> I know, right? Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. <gasps> I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. What an uh, Stampy! Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. Now I'm accusing if Stampy! If I had flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Oh! I wouldn't put it past Stampy, though. He'd love the chance to explore other worlds. Hmm. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Stampy? Stampy. Send Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Stampy. Stampy. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. He seems really nervous. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. He seems really nervous it's and he's my number one suspect. Everyone's friend. Uh, you seem very nervous. I gotta nervous. say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Stampy? Okay? Uh, I don't know. Sta uh, stamp what? Stampy? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Stampy? <coughs> Stampy, it's just going what do you know about down. redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average, average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What? Uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri block champion. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can't stand being a lie. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear. You have to believe me, honest. Stabby, I think they took the innocent YouTubers and made them the murderer. Know anything about this? Because Stampy's like an oh, innocent wow. YouTuber. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. <laughs> he's like, you honest. You would love to Past see something everything. like that, though. Lizzie, she's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, honest. you said? <laughs> Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> Famous Stampy Lab. Okay, enough dancing <laughs> around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Yeah. Oh, Stampy? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Stampy? Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. I know, is it classic Dan move? Look into You're my excuse, eyes, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Look into my eyes. Oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Stampy, I'm accusing Stampy. Oh, come on, this is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. I'm really like hey, Jesse. Stampy. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers I'm not gonna blame, and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. 
How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. I think I must have like stamped it. Suspect. Stamped it? Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Stamped it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell Stampy. everyone at once. Cat. <laughs> Stampy cat. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. <laughs> Come on, suspect. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all... I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And next episode, we're going to accuse Stampy of being the White Pumpkin. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye!